This is a child abduction emergency. This station has interrupted its regular programming at the request of the White House to participate in the emergency alert system. During this emergency, most stations will remain on the air to provide news and information to the public in assigned areas. A child went missing in the city of Las Vegas. Reporters say that a midget person was believed to have abducted this child. The child's name is Andy Anderson, age 7, 4 feet tall, blonde hair and brown eyes. He was last seen wearing a good guy's pajamas and good guy's shoes. The suspect is unknown at this time, but all we know is that it is a midget person that abducted this child. All residents that are receiving this message are advised to stay indoors for the morning. If you see this child, call 911. Do not use your telephone. The telephone lines should be kept open for emergency use. The emergency alert system has been activated. This is the emergency alert system broadcasting the city of Las Vegas and the state of Nevada. transmitted at the request of the United States government. Mass devastation and casualties have been reported all across the northeastern United States, as well as some parts of Canada as well. It has been causing destruction and terror. Several tall structures in the northeastern United States have collapsed. This includes the One World Trade Center in New York City. Several reports of massive fires breaking up due to the situation were reported as well. A new discovery has been found that sheltering from it is useless and does not protect you at all. This is an extremely dangerous situation and the following action should be taken. Turn off all heating, gas lines and air vents. Lock windows and doors and gather everyone in your household. When you evacuate, tie any bright colored cloth or piece of fabric to your mailbox or doorknob, so local authorities and emergency management are aware that you are taking the proper actions necessary to ensure your safety. Do not attempt to pick loved ones up from schools, nursing homes or hospitals, as these facilities have their own evacuation procedures and plans to reunite with loved ones. Evacuate in a common expedient manner. Get all food, water, clothing, medical supplies that includes medication, as well as a battery-powered radio. Do not panic, as this will only make the situation worse. Stay tuned to Commercial Weather Radio for more information on this situation. Again, do not hesitate to evacuate. Leave now. This is an emergency alert broadcast. All channels and radio outlets will transmit this emergency message. Information will be broadcast to all mobile devices. Ensure mobile data or some form of internet connection can be accessed on your device for some updates and instructions. If impossible, go to www.alertready.ca/slash updates for these updates if you don't own a mobile device. Il s'agit d'une émission d'alerte d'urgence. Tous les canaux et prises radia transmettront ce message d'urgence. Les informations seront diffusées sur tous les appareils mobiles. Assurez-vous que les données mobiles ou une certaine forme de connexion Internet sont accessibles sur votre appareil pour les mises à jour et les instructions. Si cela est impossible, allez à www.alertredi.ca. This is the BBC. We now remember the life of His Royal Highness, the Duke of Edinburgh.
This is BBC Television from London. Normal programming has been suspended. This is the BBC, broadcasting from a safe and secure location within the United Kingdom. London and several other cities have been shrouded by the bilithium cloud and the ensuing chaos that has followed. Rioting and looting has ceased as the cloud settles. All citizens are to stay indoors for the next two weeks or until the bilithium clears. Due to the precarious situation, medical supplies and essential services may not be available for the next two weeks. As such, you will have to fend for yourselves. You are recommended to ration food and supplies for the next two weeks.